Hello, this is the voice of Dylan Flynn. Hi, this is the voice of Trevor Ickrath. And you are listening to Wordle with Friends, the show where two friends do the Wordle. That's right, it is Wednesday, my dudes, but not just any Wednesday. This is going to be a special Wednesday. I can't remember the last time I've... Uh, been this excited for an episode of this show, Dylan. People have been saying, you know, January, where are the event episodes? You know, it was nice when you guys did MLK Day, but I mean, what's next, right? Sure, you know, it just doesn't really have the flair of what we're going to do today, I think. Do you want to introduce it? Should I? Trevor and I have spent the first half of this day getting ready uh, by procuring an elixir of sorts. We've both gotten our own very first, I believe, Trevor has a bottle, whereas I have a can of oh, cool. PepsiCo's new lemon lime offering, Starry, the official soda of Wordle. That's right. I got 20 ounces of this shit getting warm on my desk at the moment. I'm ready to crack into it. I'm excited that you're going to be getting the can experience. I'm going to be getting the bottle experience. I'm going to pop this can for the Foley element. Okay, you do that, then I'll uh, untwist this bottle. Oh, yeah, that was satisfying. My thirst is already quenched just hearing that. Here comes the bottle sound. Subtle but satisfying. Shall we take our inaugural sips? Down the hatch. All right, so that's, I would say, a pretty standard lemon-lime soda experience. It might linger in the mouth for a little bit. I think maybe it is... Very Sierra Mist-like with like just like a 5% extra sharpness to get it a little closer to Sprite, but it's pretty similar to Sierra Mist. Sure, I'm going to go back in real quick. It is, there is a little bit more of a, a bite to it. The carbonation is good, though. I would say overall, just a solid soda experience. Yeah, I'm looking for major complaints that I don't have them. So mm -hmm. we'll, we'll chalk it up to be a W for you, PepsiCo. Good job. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't miss Sierra Mist, and I'm certainly not going to be missing it with this option on the table. Hey, speaking of yellow and green, let's play everybody's favorite word game. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. It's Wednesday, January 18th, 2023, and Trevor and I are about to attempt to solve Wordle number 578. So this is your warning to turn back now if you've not yet done today's puzzle, as there will be spoilers ahead. I gotta say, maybe it's the caffeine from the starry now that is now rushing through my veins, but I'm feeling good about this. You know, I'm off yesterday's win. I feel ready to, like, continue closing that gap between us. A little pep in your step, eh? I'm feeling starry-eyed. Um, I'm gonna play a word that is kind of related to soda. Okay, here we go. Okay, I got one green letter, green like a lime for playing the word store. One green for store. That's right. Somewhere you would buy soda and also what you would do with soda um, if you were to keep it on hand but not immediately drink it afterwards. You know what I'm betting on for that green. You already know. Oh, I got a pretty good idea. I'm going to play this word. Okay. All right. I got one green letter of my own, like a line. I played the word flame. Flame, okay. You love that fifth slot E. Would you say that's your favorite letter placement combination? I think it's just a good policy to keep because I feel like it pays off slightly more than 50% of the time. Uh-huh. And Flame, is that something that you're going to be heading on Reddit to do to anybody who is not on board with the Sierra Mist to Starry changeover? Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm going to dox them, dig up embarrassing <laughs> old tweets, post their physical address, all the classics. Hit up R slash soda heads. You know, the A would be a pretty safe bet, right? Right? Right. I think this might work. Okay. All right. I got two greens and one yellow. Wow. For playing the word diary. Diary. Yeah. All right. So you've placed an A and an R. Dear diary, today I tried a new flavor of soda that would ultimately change my life. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to move that D to the end of this word yeah i've seen one thing that i could play with that d there yeah not a great word mm. um but i'll write it down maybe i'll end up playing it okay that's a much uh better one you found a better word i did okay got a double and an uncommon in it so that's wow. its baggage but it's a good word yeah maybe i'll do it hey why not no no i'm up to three green letters though can i guess what you played yeah I think you played award. Hey, guess what? What? 
right on the fucking money. That's right. I just wrote down a ward and circled it while you were talking. I was sure that was going to be it. But you only got three greens? Three greens. So I've placed all our letters. We know how this word is ending. Yeah. Wonder if it's that other one I wrote down. That'd be weird. Damn, I was sure it was going to be a ward event. We were going to be out of here. I was all ready to take the L and everything. I know. Damn. Oh, it could be this, couldn't it? I have options piling up. Really? Yeah. This seems like it will be the answer to me. This one, I found one that's like really obvious. I guess I'll go with it. Why not? No, man. I only got three green letters. Playing the word guard. That was the one that I thought it was going to be the answer. Yeah. Man, it's like we're one man, two players today. Same brain. It's because we're both drinking Starry, man. It's a link. (laughs) I guess I'll play this kind of shitty one that I've had written down for a couple of rounds now and see where that gets me. All right. Wow. Okay. Five green letters, round three. Uh, Tracy playing a little tough today. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. I wonder if you know this word. Oh, awesome. Are we all out of vowels? Uh Uh-huh. I'm all out of vowels. There's no words without you. Two consonants here, huh? Mm-hmm. I've been looking at like C, like combinations, you know, C-H, you see that a lot. But char, like that's, I don't think that's it, right? P-H-A-R-D. <laughs> Fard. <laughs> <laughs> like if, it's like if you were in a, a cool 90s band called Fart, but you spelled it weird. <laughs> oh, that would be sick. I kind of want to like get off this call and start recording a demo right now. <laughs> called like shitting with two d's <laughs> this sucks man i don't know that there's anything legal to play but the answer oh but i can play a random ass word that's true you don't have hard mode on i don't have hard mode on i could play any fucking word i want right now what are some letters we haven't used we haven't used h k uh uh m we haven't used n we've used m you haven't used p c you haven't used c i'm gonna play this this one uses four of these bad boys. Nice. And look at that. Two greens. <laughs> I played the word chunk. That was the best throwaway play in the history of the game. Pretty much. Today's word is charred. That is, uh, if you're culinarily minded, that's a, a leafy green. Uh, like Swiss chard, often used in soups and stuff. See, I've heard of, you know, culinarily speaking, something being charred. But I've never heard of a chard, a singular chard. Well, I gotta say, it is delicious, and I recommend you seek it out. Hey, just like my new favorite beverage, Starry. Perfect pairing, too. Just munching on some raw Swiss chard, downing some Starry. Mm. The only thing I could think about that would make that pairing even better is if I were doing these things while reading an email from our oh, listeners. Heavenly. They can send us one of those at wordlefriends at gmail.com. They could also find the show on TikTok or Twitter by searching Wordle Friends. And if they're watching on YouTube, they should subscribe to the channel, leave us some comments, and they should ring the bell to get notifications. I said it in a different order today. Sure, why not? But for now and for always, I've been your co-star, Dylan Flynn. I've been your co-star, Trevor Aikrath, and we'll see you back here tomorrow on the show where friend is a five-letter word. This has been a production of The Lighthouse Keepers Company. Culture Illuminated.